let's explore the two things that are standing in your way to get to where you want to be and realize your ultimate dream, your ultimate vision, your end in mind and create that beautiful life for yourself. Okay, so we've all got this place where we are now and this place where we want to get to be in the future. And in between, we call that our gap. And this is actually where all the growth is. This is where all that magic happens. But before we move forward, I need to discuss one important thing, and that's being happy, content, and satisfied in the now, in what we have in this moment. If we're expecting the now to be any different, comparing our now to what we maybe want it to be in the future, we're just gonna lead ourselves into a downward spiral, and this is where we get our bad days, our negative thought patterns happen, and then those negative thought patterns end up turning into negative behaviors and actions and decisions, and eventually, a negative outlook and, and situation on your current life. Okay, so moving on, there's two things. One is the subconscious mind, and two is our fears. In regards to our fears, there's something standing in our way, and deep down, we know that there's something there that we need to face and we need to overcome, that if it wasn't there, if it was removed, that we'd be able to get to this place much, much easier our subconscious mind. Now, our subconscious mind is really dictating everything in our life. It's dictating like 90% of our decisions, our behaviors, the actions that we take, our outlook on the world, our perceptions on things, how we handle challenges, how we approach challenges, it determines our personal values and our outlook on the world. Now, that is created the situations that we've been through from when we were born up until this present moment, the environments we've been in, the situations we've been faced, and, but most of all, our perceptions on all those things and how we've managed it and whether things are good or bad. But our subconscious, our neural network, that map, that blueprint that makes up our subconscious mind is what's going to determine whether we get from where we are now to where we want to be in the future. That's there. If that's controlling 90% of our life, that's what we need to change in order to get to where we want to be. So the same input, that's why that subconscious mind that's created that neural network, environment, what we've been through, our stress, our challenges, our perception on all those sorts of things, they're the same inputs that we need to start to change in order to change that neural network and set our subconscious mind in order to get to where we want to be. What am I filling my mind with 24 7 365? The time and energy and focus that I'm placing in different areas and on different things, is that getting me closer to where I want to be? Am I growing? If we can optimize and maximize those inputs to create the neural network that creates the subconscious mind, that's dictating 90% of what we do and our chances and probability of getting to this end in mind anyway, then this is what we need to be doing. So here I have, on this side, this is just clean water. What this is representing is all the stuff we know that we should be doing. Eating clean, nutritious food, living a healthy lifestyle, living an active lifestyle, having a positive attitude, filling our mind with positive thoughts, being around positive people, being around people that are helping us grow, limiting that negativity, being around growth, self-development. And you already deep down know what this bottle should be full of. It's full of clean things. It's, it's, it's full of a clean lifestyle, being a good person, giving, being a good person, being a good example within your community, within your family, around your friends, being that example, being the inspiration for others. You know that this is what you should be filling your subconscious mind with. Now this here, it's brown, it looks toxic, it looks dirty. Now this is all the negative crap, this is all the negative stuff that you know you should be giving up, that you should stop doing. And deep down, you also know that stuff as well. No one really needs to identify it for you. You already know deep down that you should stop it. This is what you're filling your subconscious mind with. All the negative crap, the random numbness, scrolling through social media and causing yourself to compare yourself with the lives of other people, worrying about other people's opinions and having these people that you don't even know dictate whether you're gonna go and do something or not. Procrastination, 
not doing the positive things, not, not living the clean lifestyle, all the things that you know is holding yourself back, this is it here. This here is representing your subconscious mind that dictates 90% of what you do, your perceptions, your outlook on the world. And this is gonna determine whether you're gonna to get to your end in mind or not, and realize that beautiful life, that ultimate goal, that ultimate dream. Now we've got a simple decision to make, and these are daily decisions that happen throughout the day. We can decide what we're gonna pour into our subconscious mind. Are we gonna pour the stuff we know we should be pouring in, or are we gonna pour the crap in still tomorrow, the day after, the week after, the month after, six months later, one year later, one decade later, two decades later. Like, when is it gonna stop? When are we gonna stop pouring this crap into our subconscious mind? Choose this one. Choose the things that are going to help you grow. Choose clean living. Choose a clean lifestyle. Choose healthy meals. Choose good, clean water. Choose an active lifestyle. Choose to identify your personal values and identify what you're passionate about, where you wanna go. Until you start to be this, you won't have this. You need to be this first. That subconscious mind will start to create the decisions, the actions, the behaviors, and the attitude that will end up allowing you to realize this end in mind, this ultimate goal. Pour this one in. The positive lifestyle, the clean lifestyle, the active lifestyle, the healthy meals, the meditation, the facing your fears, stepping into the uncomfortable, seeking more growth, seeking personal growth. So this gap here, this is exactly where all the growth is. This is what you should be seeking. You can't bypass it. Same like your fears. You know there's some fears there that are holding you back preventing you from getting you to where you wanna be. It's about identifying those and building the courage in order to step into them. Because these are the two things that's gonna be standing in your way. Your subconscious mind and your fears. And we've all got them. The messages today. Being happy in the now and not expecting the now to be any different than what it currently is. Being content. Having accountability and responsibility of where you are in this moment and know that this is where you need to be because this is what's going to create that beautiful life and start to propel you forward. Your subconscious mind is dictating everything in your life anyway, so this is what needs to be rewired and it gets rewired through the different inputs that created your current subconscious mind anyway. And the third message is your fears. You know there's something there that's holding you back. And I ask you this question, if that fear wasn't there, if that fear wasn't standing in your way, what's the probability of you reaching your end in mind, that ultimate goal, that ultimate vision? It would be a very, very high probability. So move forward, pour the right stuff in, make the change now, not later, because you are worthy of receiving. Eat, think, and live clean. My name's Adam Phillips. Improve mental health and prevent disease through nutrition, meditation, and active lifestyles.